Hi students, today we are going to see the final accounts. What do you mean by final accounts? Final accounts is nothing but the performance report. For the month of financial period, probably uh, 12 months or 11 months or 13 months, we are taking only the 12 months. Most of them follow only 12 months as a financial year. That is 1st April, um, 1st April to 31st March. Calendar year also some people take 1st January to, th to 31st December. So this financial year, 12 months, they are running the business and they want to find out their performance, whether to proceed or to stop, whether they have earned enough profit or whether they have got a break-even point or not. So to find out all this, they need the financial uh, accounts. Financial, I mean, uh, final accounts. The final account is nothing but the accounts prepared at the end of the year to find out the position of the business. Now, the, now let us see the financial, these uh, final accounts have got two statements. One is a uh, uh, profit and loss account, trading and profit and loss account or income statement. Another one is a balance sheet or financial position statement now let us see the board um, final accounts financial statement to look for the performance of the business whether it's earned a profit or um, going in loss uh, to continue or stop they have to take that uh, they have to decide whether to continue or stop if the profit is going on in a good manner in a progressive manner well, how to plan for the future profit how to do the planning for the future growth of the business and uh, how to um, take the financial decisions how much to invest more or what are the areas the investment to be increased so all these things they will uh, take only after getting the final accounts the final account is nothing but the uh, trading and profit profit and loss account or we can call it as an income statement the another uh, financial statement is called balance sheet or financial position now let us see um, financial statements, income statement or trading and profit and loss account. Trading is a, a one type of account and profit and loss account is another one. Together we are calling as a trading and profit and loss account in case of manufacturing business. In case of trading business, we are doing only the profit and loss account. In case of manufacturing business, we have to find out trading account as well as the profit and loss account together. Whereas in case of the uh, service oriented or trading business, we have to do only the profit and loss account. In addition to this income statement to find out whether in this area itself, we can find out whether there is a gross profit or gross loss. Because of the manufacturing um, uh, work in progress or whatever may be, they have to find out whether they, there is a gross profit or gross loss. In profit and loss account, they will find out whether there is a net profit or net loss. To find out this too, in the first area to find out the gross profit or gross loss in the business. In the second area to find out a net profit or net loss in the area in the business organization after finding out this uh, thing we have to go to the next area which is called the financial position of the balance sheet according to the balance what is a balance sheet balance sheet is the um, uh, balance in the assets and liability what are the assets assets of the fixed assets and current assets whether the fixed and current assets total matches with the liabilities liabilities here the um, owners fund that's the capital in addition to the owner's capital, the outsider's liability is also there, such as a loan, bank loan, and a, a payment to be made to the suppliers, that's a creditors, and uh, so many things are there, so many items are there that we come across when we are learning the balance sheet, the items. Now, let us see the financial position to find out that the assets matches the liability. The gross, the total assets should be equal to the total liability. Liability includes the owner's liability and the outsider's liabilities. Owner's liability is nothing but the uh, business, the organization have to pay to the owner at the time of winding up of the business. And the outsider's liabilities so during the working condition, working uh, period itself, they have to pay the outsider's liability. Then according to the accounting standards, uh, three, a revised statement uh, makes it uh, mandatory to prepare a profit and loss appropriation account. In addition to the profit and loss account, 
profit and lot loss appropriation account that means uh, um, appropriation of the profit to, to the different areas how the profit is appropriated or spread uh, to the other areas so the, that means uh, to the owners to the investors and to the outsiders how the profit is spread to the um, uh, to the outsiders that means liabilities to meet the liabilities according to the accounting standard 3 accounting standard 3 revised one says in addition to the financial income statement and the financial position statement it insists on the profit and loss appropriation account how the profit is distributed and the cash flow statement the cash flow statement is nothing but the where does the uh, uh, fund come from how it is distributed the source of the cash source of the fund and application of someone source of the where does the fund comes and where it goes so the cash flow statement is nothing but the statement which shows how the what are the different sources of income that is what are the different sources of cash coming inside and how it is applied sources and application sources of the fund and application of fund will be taken in the cash flow statement so these are the financial statement includes the income statement that is nothing but the profit trading and profit and loss account in case of manufacturing business and only profit and loss account in case of a um, service oriented and uh, uh, trading business and financial position is nothing but the balance sheet the, uh, the balances uh, the main uh, assets balances should equal to the should tally with the liability balances and according to the latest uh, accounting standards the, in addition to this two statement profit and loss appropriation account and uh, cash flow statement is mandatory now what is the why we have to prepare this financial statement but that means uh, final accounts why we have to prepare the final accounts we have to pre uh, find prepare the final accounts in order to find out the uh, benefits to the uh, people those who are concerned with the business such as management management is concerned to see how the business goes but how it grows and what are the plans to be taken in future uh, what are the decisions should be taken decision making and planning uh, management is interested in uh, decision making planning and investors investors long term investors like the owners and um, short term investors maybe the creditors also short term bank loan all come under the uh, short term uh, investors these investors they want to see whether the business is going in progress whether it is not in the uh, far uh, fast whether it goes slowly smoothly it goes in future their liability will be met by the organization and creditors creditors are uh, uh, suppliers suppliers of uh, goods uh, and services to the business they, they uh, these creditors they see whether it's a good position means whether to further next year whether to continue the business with the organization or not so so the creditors are the suppliers of goods and services and employees naturally when the business grows the employees will get a good uh, package good income good increment increase in their um, uh, salaries and they'll get a good uh, amount of bonus at the time of the uh, end of the year so the investors all the the employees are interested to know about the financial position then tax authorities tax authorities or they they want to find out whether they are uh, proper appropriation is made for a uh, depreciation on assets uh, and whether the um, whether tax provision whether the provisions are made on liabilities like this they will see uh, and to find out the to find out the actual tax to be uh, uh, levied on the uh, business and customers customers or generally they see the market trend how the business gives a added value uh, products to them if the added value products are there they will go for their can they continue with the consumption of their products if the uh, added value is not there but it goes smoothly means they will continue otherwise they will think about to uh, go for the another product instead of this product they will try to uh, switch over to another product then comes the stock exchange stock exchange uh, when there is a good um, business move uh, I mean, growth is good 
business growth is good, then the investors in the market, capital market, they try to invest in this company. And stock exchange, the face value of the business will increase. And that means uh, the price value of the business will increase. Then government, government, if the, all the business goes smoothly in the country, the government will take the economic policy and the uh, financial policies and the fiscal the, um, policies. Everything will be taken on the basis of the uh, industries in the industry and organization in the country. The government policy also depends upon the growth of the business, not only one business, all the business and industries in the country. Now, next we will see uh, income statement, income statement, the format of the in income statement and how to find out the gross profit or gross loss from the trading account. Next, we are going to see the trading account.